Welcome back to another reaction on the channel. Today we're going to be watching Hellbound Season 1 Episode 5, titled Episode 5. Last episode was crazy. I'm really enjoying this episode so far. I mean, I still think Episode 3 was the best, but Episode 4, but Episode 4 was really good as well. We was introduced to two main characters. It's like a TV firm, pretty much, which is also controlled by the new truth, the religion. And now it's just mainstream. It's literally everywhere. It's like a full-on cult, like, government organization. It's crazy. And yeah, we got introduced to this main character who pretty much has just had enough of the shit of the new truth and he knows they're just up to no good and pointless and we also had this other guy who seemed really strange like he was acting really weird and yeah it turned out that he himself had actually received a prophecy that he was gonna die that same day so that's why he was acting really erratic because obviously he knew he was gonna die and uh yeah we we also met this new like shadowy organization type thing this um this loan shark company and the guy who had the prophecy to die obviously called him so they'd remove his body after he was died or after he was bound to hell. So there'd be no proof that he was actually like a sinner. But obviously he's not a sinner. It's just like now in this society, if you are bound for hell, you're seen as evil and a sinner. And obviously he didn't want that to affect his family or for him to be known as that pretty much. So yeah, they took the body away in a very secret way. But the card was left there. And the chairman of the new truth has seen that card. And yeah, it's going to be really interesting to see what's going to happen next. And yeah, we also had that, that thing with a baby being bound for hell. Like, what is that all about? That is the one thing I do not understand about the show at all. Why is random people like babies, mothers, why are they being bound for hell? That makes no sense whatsoever. And yeah, I, I, I don't know if that's actually going to go through. I don't know if that prophecy is actually going to be fulfilled. If it is, I'm going to be shocked, but... Yeah, it's crazy. I cannot wait to get into this episode and find out what the hell is going to happen. And, yeah, I really want to find out more about that chairman guy. He seems very strange. But yeah, I'm going to stop rambling. This is my thoughts going into this episode. This is Howbound Season 1, Episode 5. And, yeah, let's get straight into it. Also, I do have a Patreon if you want to see my full on reactions. Uh, so, yeah, if you want to see my full length reactions to Howbound, my name, Addison Borderland, and much more, the link to my Patreon is in the description. But as for now, let's get straight into this. Okay, we're going to start off right here. All right, so they've covered his tracks, this organization. It's crazy that these new truth people actually have seats in like police, governments, literally everything. People are scared of them. Also, yeah, if you have any suggestions for what I should watch next, any K dramas or anything, uh, feel free to let me know in the comments. Oh, yeah, I mean, oh my god, I can't even imagine what this guy's going through. Right, it was a law firm that it was. I thought it was like a loan shark company, but it's a law firm. Look at that, they have a whole like building for that it's massive as well this is so like culty it's insane it's like a ritual almost isn't it has he even done anything he probably hasn't people who aren't even committing sins are being bound for hell and being ridiculed in the general public there we go they're coming for you these people must be so sick in the head to like enjoy this also where do they vanish to it's like they just all that in six years though full-on buildings I really want one of these bastards to get, whatever it's called, to get bound to hell and see their reactions to it. I really hope that happens. I feel like that's definitely going to happen. Someone of high power is going to get a decree. Oh, his baby. Yeah, he's going to say about the baby. Shit. I completely forgot about that until now. Oh, it's her. Of course, it, the law firm. Oh, my God. All along it was there, the law firm. Her, she was working at a law firm. Okay. I thought she died, though. But clearly she survived. I really just want these guys to get... It's almost comical how they act. They have such power, but they're such idiots. Sums up the British government, to be honest. Oh, okay, so they're not actually affiliated with the Arrowhead. And if these new truth assholes try to say that the baby has committed this sin, I'm going to be pissed off. Man, I'm really excited for December. December's going to be an insane month for television. We've got Money Highs, we've got Cobra Kai. Oh my god. Wait, who is this guy? Oh shit. So why are they kidnapping these people? Why are they... Oh, okay, the guy, the death they covered up, that's his wife and his kids. I can't believe they're actually going after his family. Right, because then they see... Why is a baby getting killed? How could a baby have seen that? As bad as it is to say, if his child's gonna die, he better televise it and prove that the new truth are assholes. What? That's a sin too? This guy's out of his mind. Okay, this guy's gonna kill all of them if he gets... If he gets out of here, he's killing all of you. Right, we saw that in the uh, early episodes. I thought she died, but... How did he survive this? Surely, it can't be an act of judgment from God. Like, that is ridiculous. And obviously, it explains this guy's motive, so one thing to change. I wonder if the new truth's gonna get to this guy. Well, I guess so. It's the arrowhead, isn't it? The arrowhead pricks. 
How did they find out about him? That means they're gonna find out out about the TV guy. So this is militia. They've gone to full on like assassinations almost and killing people. Before we saw they was loosely organized and it was really just a gang of people. And now that won't even happen because the baby's gonna die. Here. Can't even live a life anymore. Surely there's gotta be some way out of this. I mean, yeah, it's. It's a shitty choice. You either have a bad choice or a worse choice. Okay, that's how they know it was him. No, no. Oh my god, they're putting him inside that. I don't even want to imagine how painful that would be. It's a bit like in episode 2 where the daughter of the detective killed his wife's killer in the same way. But yeah, surely she's at risk now because they know where she is. Arrowhead pricks. How is she getting out of this? I guess she's a fucking badass now. Oh my god. I knew it'd be them too. Yeah, you're next. She's a badass now. Yeah, like before she was a lawyer, she didn't know how to fight or anything. She was weak, but now she is like it. But I guess it's God's will for this baby to be killed. According to the arrowhead and the new truth. I mean, it's obvious it's the arrowhead. How do these police not even know? The police are probably all harrowed. Yeah, the, the new truth has got to him. So it's all out now. Man, that eerie soundtrack again. Where's she taking the baby? Oh, no. Why? So yeah, that's my reaction to Hellbound Season 1, Episode 5. And I can't believe she's actually just taken the baby to the new truth. Like, that's just not going to go well. That's the one place... She shouldn't have taken the baby. I mean, you can't blame her. Like, she doesn't know what to do in a situation. But it's just going to be bad news. They're going to see it's a baby. They're going to make some bullshit excuse. And it's going to go under the radar. No one's to know about it. No one's to know the truth. And yeah, now the the two guys, the the two Sodo guys, um, I'm pretty much ridiculed by the uh, the Arrowhead. Saying that they rejected God's will. And God's will, they, they went against it, rebelled. Yeah, when in fact, the Arrowhead and the New Truth are the ones making all the bullshit lies. Oh, man. I really hope it comes out that this isn't God's will. It's just some bullshit supernatural thing that's going on. Because how can a baby be a sinner? How can a mother with children who's done nothing wrong her entire life be a sinner? Oh, man, I just really hope that baby survives. And that, I mean, the New Truth, they're just gonna, they're just gonna destroy it, aren't they? They're gonna completely shut down the entire news press. I really hope the the father, the the TV guy, will make a stand and hopefully get some sort of publicity on this. But I think it's too late. But yeah, we also found out that the leader of the Sodo law firm was in fact the lawyer from the previous episodes. It was there all along, but I didn't I didn't put a finger on it because obviously lawyer law firm is her. But I actually thought she died in the other episode, but obviously she survived because back then they weren't as organised as they are now. And she did manage to survive and become the leader of the law firm. But yeah, it seems really like cut off. Like it doesn't seem like they have a lot of members, and they've just lost two members. So I'm guessing the TV guy will become a main part in the Soda Law Firm and in that organization. And yeah, we saw the lawyer. She's a badass now. She was literally kicking everyone's asses, and yeah, she literally managed to escape and tase that one prick and kick the other guy's ass. Which was really enjoyable to watch. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to the next episode to find out what's going to happen with the baby. I swear to God, if they if the new truth does some bullshit on the baby, I'm going to be so angry. And yeah, to find out if the, the Soda Law Firm will get their message across and expose the new truth and the Arrowhead for what they're doing. I really hope that is the case. But yeah, that was my reaction to Hellbound Season 1, Episode 5. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and goodbye.